It's that time of the year, fellas. Fall is officially starting and your layering sucks. That's pretty rude, but don't worry. You want to see some really bad layering and the face attached to it? Man, I know y'all got secondhand embarrassment from that, and I'm sorry, but if I can improve my layering, so could you. We all start somewhere, right? And there's always room for improvement, so let's start with the first reason, and that is you are lacking flow. And what exactly does flow mean? Well, one of the greatest scenes in cinema is from this movie made in the 1960s called Harakiri. Take a look at their outfits, their robes flowing with the winds, the grass, the trees blowing. It's what makes the scene aesthetically pleasing. And you want that for your outfit because even if it's not a windy day, as you walk, you're gonna get the ripples, the drape, the flow. And that alone is what a lot of people are missing. Forget the layering techniques that you already know. Focus on that. Think about what ways you can add flow to your fit. It could be growing out your hair, kind of like I am right now. It could be a long your garment or could be something as simple as an extended belt or a sash if it's a belt or a sash ideally you want it on the side of you and on the front so let me give you an example these cargo pants are from the brand called fried rice nyc and it comes with a ton of these straps that you can customize however you want and i've chosen to tie these belts on the side of me to kind of create a sash and it just flows as i walk and it really adds to the fit it's just a subtle change that really makes a huge difference in my opinion here's a basic outfit with these pants and i'm gonna walk without the sash and then with it and you're gonna see a huge difference in just a simple fit and we're gonna dive a little bit deeper on this topic later on in this video. I just wanna plant the seed in your brain. Just keep thinking about flow, 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 all right? Next reason why your layering is bad, in my opinion, of course, is you're only layering with a hoodie and a regular tee. And there's nothing inherently wrong with this. I personally still do it. I still think it looks good. But I just think you're missing out on so much more. To me, this is just like living in one state in the US for your whole entire life. Sure, you can find some beauty within your state and you also have everything that you need to live, but you're missing out on what the entire world has to offer. So don't be stuck in your small states. Explore a little bit, expand from the hoodies, the t-shirts, and just expand your underlayer repertoire in general. So this would include things like a tank top, a stand collar, a mandarin collar shirt, turtle and mock necks, button ups, vests, etc. There is endless options. Now, not only are you going to be able to adjust from warmer and cooler temperatures, if you just wear the same outfit and swap the underlayers, each outfit is going to have a different vibe to it, right? You're going to be expressing yourself differently each time. And the truth is, this is my anecdotal evidence, by the way, I find I get treated a lot nicer whenever I layer with a stand collar or a button up rather than with the hoodie. It may not be fair, but that's real life. Now, I'm not saying it has to be a slim fitting Oxford shirt that you wear at a wedding. It could be something like an oversized boxy one like this one right here. I'm also currently layering with this oversized pinstripe one. And then you also got the tank top. This is perfect for the warmer part of the fall season and early spring before it gets too hot. You've got a deeper collar than a regular t-shirt. It shows off your collarbones and any necklaces that you're wearing more. And so I always recommend building this part of your wardrobe, buying more of these underlayer pieces rather than buying another jacket. It's a lot more affordable too, but I don't want you investing in any of my recommendations recommendations until you take care of your mental health. Listen, I know we were just talking about layering, but humans are full of layers and there could be a lot to unpack if your mental health is suffering. Can I be honest with you? When I first started this channel, I was down bad. You know, I was questioning whether or not I was doing the right thing for my career and also wondering how am I going to be able to afford groceries this week? in New York City. It was definitely not fun at all and I wish I had taken care of my mental health because I was in a slump for months. And that is why I am happy to tell you all about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. So at that time when I was in that slump, I didn't think about it too much. But in hindsight, when I look back at it, that slump really affected my work. It affected the amount of times I was uploading on YouTube. It affected my, my workout routines. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can empathize and understand or have been in similar situations. So when it comes to BetterHelp, their mission is to make therapy much more accessible and affordable because finding a therapist that you jive with is vital. Some folks may only have one or two therapists in their area to visit in person. However, whenever you use the BetterHelp platform, you are connected to over 30,000 licensed therapists. So if you're not jiving with your current therapist, you don't have to drive to the next closest one. You can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost without stressing about insurance, who's in your network or anything like that. And so because this is an online platform, all you have to do is fill out a few questions and BetterHelp will match you with a professional therapist in just a few days. All you have to do is click that link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash Johnny Ty. Clicking that link does support my channel, but it also gets you 10% off your first month. And that way you can see if it helps you out or not. So if you're struggling with your mental health or you're going through some hard times, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Once again, you can click that link in the description or you can head to betterhelp.com slash Johnny Ty. Thank you BetterHelp for supporting this channel. Back to it.
Another reason why your layering is bad is your fit just lacks depth. And I like to use this term called stacking. You need to stack more, man. Just think about it for a sec, all right? What makes a dish look pretty? Let's take something like a bowl of noodle soup or something like that. If you just had noodles and soup, no other toppings, you don't even put the vegetable packet in there. Fellas, if you ever see me eating ramen like this in person, I give you permission to slap me across the face. Who eats ramen like this? Y'all are psychos. But if you garnish it with the veggies in the pack or you chop up your own veggies, throw in some ground pepper or fried egg, chili oil, fried shallots, and you just keep stacking and stacking all these garnishes, well, now you look like you know a little something. You wanna do this with your fits is what I'm trying to say. And it's just those little things that add up to create a more complete outfit. So like I said, it's the little things. So buttons, zippers, pockets, jewelry, a collar, a sling bag, eyewear, maybe changing the texture of your garments. And we can just keep going and going and going. Obviously, I think you can go too far, even though that's pretty pretty hard to do in my opinion. Not only is this going to make your fit better, it's going to add some personality to your fits. Everybody talks about personal style, but they rarely talk about adding personality with your accessories. So let me throw on this sling bag right here. Already, it adds to the fit, it adds a bit of layer and texture, and I can add even more to it by adding this Talisman by Rosen X. Not only do you get a color pop, we get another thing that drapes and flows as you walk like we talked about earlier, and we also get a touch of my heritage in my fit. I'm telling you fellas, Embrace your heritage or whatever you're into. That is how you add personality to your fits. Keep on stacking, fellas. On to the next because we got to address that pop of color. It's all about contrast. And that's what I was lacking back in the day. So this could be a contrast in color, a contrast in styles. It could be a contrast in sizing. Contrast, contrast, contrast. So one of my favorite cities is the Shy, Shy Town, Chicago, Illinois. There's a full on blue lake right next to the city. And there's a ton of beaches, a whole entire lakefront right next to downtown. Contrast between nature and a man-made city is what makes the city the city. And it just makes it so much more memorable than New York City, for example. As much as I love New York, I got gotta go all the way to Long Island or deep in Jersey to hit the beaches. And even if I get to go to those beaches, there's no city in the background. And you kinda wanna incorporate this into your fits. You can clash fashion styles, you can contrast colors, you can contrast sizing. This adds to the stacking of your fit and it can add to the flow of the fit. And my final reason, I'm sure there's plenty of more reasons why your layering isn't that great, is your garments always end at the waistline. And although I still do it, it can be done very well. It can get boring over time. Nothing wrong with a little boredom, but I like to switch things up over time. But yeah, we all know this already. The crop jacket is a perfect solution to that. It ends a little bit higher on the waist, which helps with your proportions. And when you pair it with high-waisted trousers or high-waisted pants, if they tucked in top, it just looks way different than if everything ended at the waistline. That alone is a great switch up that we've all been used to for the past few years. But then you have my favorite which are longer jackets and i'm talking about overcoats and parkas so these to me make anyone look a lot more grown up i don't know how to explain it and it's not that deep where it's oh you should dress your age blah 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 it's not that deep guys obviously this is going to be subjective to your environments your climates and all that because i don't think anybody in florida is rocking overcoats but anyways this circles back all the way to point number one flow as you walk, there's just something about a coat that flows as you walk or blows with the wind. So find yourself some good parkas or overcoats. I have a lot from Uniqlo. Those have been in my wardrobe for years and I'm gonna continue wearing them. You can go oversized, you can go slim fit, totally up to you. All right, y'all, that is why your layering is bad and why mine was atrocious. So don't make the same mistakes I did. It was just a little bit of a guide for you guys to help you improve your layering. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and until then, stay fly, check out our sponsor, Deuces.